Hey, we're playing The Weakest Dink. A um, bunch of listeners called in, and they spun the wheel, and each one was assigned to one of us from the show. So me and Artie, Howard, Robin, Fred, John, KC, we're all going to play The Weakest Dink, and whichever one of us wins, we're going to win a car for a listener. What's your prediction for the game today? Um, yeah, I, I can surprise you. I, I know some stuff. You think you're going to take it? Yeah, maybe. It depends on what kind of questions you get. That's the whole thing. I mean, it's, it, it's really, it's a, it's a crapshoot. It's, it's luck. You think they're going to try and snowball you to give you hard questions? Uh, it, I think Vinny will be fair. You know, he's fat. So John, how do you think you're going to do on the game? Well, I think I'm going to do pretty good. You know, I sit at home and I watch these games and I go, dude, how don't you know the answer to that? So I think everything should be fine. I mean, you know, I just hope I don't choke. All right, let's turn our attention to some anxious people over here who I want to say hello to uh, for the weakest dink. Now, let me uh, tell you what's going on here. In order to give away this Dodge Durango, each one of us, myself, Gary, John, Fred, Robin, Casey, and Artie, will all be playing Weakest Dink. That's right. We sent Vinny home to uh, come up with questions. None of us he have seen them. He came up with these all by himself? Yes, he did. Man. 168 questions. Now, for example, uh, there's yeah. a guy over here. What's your name? Tommy. Tommy is going to be... Uh, my guy. Bro, I'd love to win for you, but I don't hold out I, much hey, hope. I, I got faith in you. It's a long shot. I choke as soon as they ask me a question. I choke. He deserves to win, Howard. You should I play as hard as you can. Now, uh, Robin's contestant, this is Nancy. Is that right, Nancy? Yes, it is. Uh, hi, Nancy. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. All right. Now, you stand a good chance. I'll tell you, I think it's going to come down to Robin or Fred. I don't know. Is Gary. Vinny answering the question, asking the questions? Yep. We're Gary. in trouble, Fred. It's going to be Gary. Rob and I have faith. Uh, Dodge Durango, nice car. Beautiful. But you would like that car. It's a good prize. I'd like to win it for you. Fred's contestant. Your name is Alana, right? Yeah. Hi. How are you doing, Alana? Hi. Are you all right over there or what? I'm really excited. Yeah, well, you stand a good shot. Fred is yeah. probably the odds-on favorite. She's probably got the, uh, you know, she's thinking of driving home right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got a license? Now, Alana, it says you have 40 triple D breasts. Yeah, is yeah, that true? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let me see those. Move that Fred's side. <laughs> Come on. Wow. 40 triple D. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, Iron Maiden. Oh. Robin, you got competition. Those are implants, right? Yeah. Yeah. Howard, I what, think, is, I think, what does Alana do? Are they basketballs? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you go so go big? Um, yeah. I don't want to say. You, you don't want to say? <laughs> Were you a stripper? I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it? Are those sex movies? <laughs> All right. Well, wow. anyway, you have very big breasts. Alana, do you She's know? She's just like Fred. Did you, know you steal what, them? Do you know where you are right now? <laughs> I don't want to say. Look like a couple of midgets hiding the underneath their shirt. I'm, right, Howard's, I'm Howard's biggest fan. Well, that's all that's that counts. Bad. That's true. And let me tell you something. You've got Fred Norris playing for you. Lucky girl. And really, wow. Fred is the best at all these kinds of trivia games and things. He has a best. lot. What? I'm going to do my best. Why don't you just Thank hand him the keys now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do we have to suffer the humiliation of being beaten by Fred? That's right. Let's all concede. Gary Delabate, who, by the way, uh, is pretty good at this stuff. One rock He's and roll no jeopardy. Slacker, yeah. No slacker. Um, Mike, boy. you're you're uh, with Gary. Oh, that's me, Howard, yeah. Married 20 years, yeah. two daughters. Yeah, that's me. Long-time listener. You call into the show frequently. All the time. Well, Gary, you don't stand a bad chance with. Baba I think Bowie. it's going to either be Fred, Robin, or Gary. Those are the top well, three. Real you know, confident John in Gary. says Baba he has Bowie. an IQ of 150 or something. We haven't seen <laughs> it. Yeah, but we've never seen evidence of it. <laughs> I took it on the, on the uh, uh, thing. <laughs> IQ does on the show. Uh, no offense to uh, Laura, who is on the phone. She couldn't be with us because she's in California. Laura, uh, you're playing with uh, Artie, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, well, you, don't... you should have stayed in California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Hang up. No need for you to come here. <laughs> come on, Artie can do it. I am 100% for Artie. Artie's got a lot of a lot of good trivia sense. Yeah, he's smart. Artie knows some weird. This stuff. is Most, not trivia. He knows like names of people in movies. Yeah, animation. There Barely. you go. Sports. He's good. Yeah. This is information. Laura, I hope. Knowledge. Laura, I hope you're happy with your current car. <laughs> Artie, I got 100 faith in you. You can do it. All right, all right babe, hold I'm the line, you. baby. Do your best. I'm right here uh, rooting for you. You got it. Yeah, Howard, you know what? One I thing like? I like about Laura, at least she encouraged her celebrity. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You know what I feel sorry for? What's the guy over there that's standing behind Casey's podium? Yeah. Well. Yo, what's, tra- what's your name? Trace. Trace, uh, you don't stand no, a no. chance. Hey, Trace, don't worry about it. I used to play Jeopardy in college with my roommates, and I won most of the time. Strip so Jeopardy. Right, he, he, used to, he used to he beat Buckethead. Jeopardy. Yeah, he beat yeah. Buckethead. <laughs> <laughs> he plays gay Jeopardy, and he won. Uh, listen, Trace, uh, I understand that you're a di- film director. Is that right? I am a uh, struggling screenwriter and director, sure. Is that right? 
right. I'm working my way up there. What movie have you directed? I directed a movie called Serial Killing for Dummies, which uh, I believe will be out on video under the title Serial Killer. And it uh, has a cameo by your friend Corey Feldman. And I see oh. the uh, the recording star Lisa Loeb is in it Lisa as well. Lisa Loeb and Thomas Hayden Church uh, star in it. All the biggies. All the biggies. I, it was a big, it was, a, it was a independent uh <laughs> Low budget thing, but I think why would they like change it. the name from serial killing for dummies? Is that because that's a uh, 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 trademark? Trademark. Yeah, the, the producers like messed up this movie. It was done a while ago. They really messed it up, and now it's finally coming out on video. And they were worried that they were going to get sued, so they changed the name to that awful title, "Serial Killer." All right, here we go. Now, Good luck, Tracy. All right, so thank you, John. Everyone, you guys are going to go in the green room. We're going to play. Uh, yeah, good luck to you all. Good luck to you all. I, I mean, I, I want to say to my guy, hey, I hope I win. <laughs> Come on, Gary. You've done it, dude. You've done it. No question about it. It's all you. All right. Here we go. Come and on, Gary. I got faith uh, in you. Uh, it's a little, a little too late, guys. Over there. Is that, they just totally forget you, John. I know. Uh, it's like, uh, you don't even count, you know? No Don't worry, man. <laughs> all, of the, all of the players getting words of encouragement from the various listeners who have won a shot. Except John. I know. <laughs> we didn't even talk to okay, John's contestant. Are you going to talk to John's guy? <laughs> I didn't talk to John's guy? No. He's all upset. Come here. Come here. Come back here. John's guy. I'm sorry, I left you out. What's your name? No, it's all right. Go sure. ahead. What's your name? Danny. Stuttering John is not going to win this. I know. <laughs> oh, thank you, Danny. And I, now I don't, don't want to win. No, I'm only kidding. Oh, come on. Give him some insight. I don't care. Man. I'll play it for come my on. ego. All right. <laughs> I think you got a good Just shot. Huge. I really do. All right. Yeah. You do? In what Much respect? Like How, yeah. Have you ever heard Robin or Fred at this kind of stuff? They're brilliant on it. Yeah, I do, but I got to have a little faith. And Gary's awesome. Yeah, Gary's Gary, Gary really is good. scary. Gary is good, but I got to have faith in my guy. All right. Okay, take care, and uh, we'll you. put you in the green room, and if by any <laughs> chance you win, I'll get you back in here. I hate to say it, but Gary could be the dark horse. Uh, <laughs> he certainly is the horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, everybody go over to your place on the podium, and we'll begin playing The Weakest right. Dink. Hosted by Vinny Favale. Yeah, Vinny, are you going to be able to handle this? Yes, I am. I am ready. Talk directly into that microphone, Vinny. I have been rehearsing nonstop. All right, right, I gotta get right over. on the bus. It's gonna take me a second to get over there. I'm gonna cut off my own mic now. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Uh, all right, Robin, hanging in there. Get in here. <laughs> Who's the uh, most nervous? Howard's, Howard's walking over to the podium now. I think I'm Howard, pretty nervous. I'm Howard, nervous. Hardy, what do you think? I'm pretty nervous, but I think I got a good shot. Casey, hey, I, I think I'm gonna surprise a lot of people. Here. Everybody, you, gotta be, yeah. you have to be quick though. You have to be quick. Here's how many you, seconds I got. You get ten, ten seconds. seconds. There will be a clock, okay? If you say. <laughs> If you say an answer... Oh, shut up, Vinny. No, no, listen. <laughs> he loves being a host. Yeah. The um, first answer you say is your answer. You can't correct yourself. I'm going to okay. cut you off at that point. By the way... Is that where the game stops? What? At that point, the, uh, the, I will say the correct answer, and then we go to the next person who gets their own question. Okay, so Don't an try incorrect to, answer gets you out of the game. How no, it doesn't no. get you out of the game. No, Just, you can move on. How okay. long is each round? Four questions per round. Okay, good. If we get right. a tie for two weakest links at the end of the round, quick face off. Question, question. All right, all right. Okay. I don't it, understand how, how this just, goes. I'll just follow along. Just answer. So answer the best all you questions. Can. Now, uh, who's going to start? <clears throat> We're going to start in order, Howard, left to right. From Howard uh, to Howard. I suck at this. Oh, okay. will you stop Come it? Come on, he just set himself up. I hate it. I don't like reverse psychology. You know, I once played Gary in Rockwell Jeopardy. I couldn't think of one thing. I thought you beat him. No, D. Snyder helped me with that. I didn't know any of that stuff. But this is general. Knowledge. General right. knowledge. Okay. He beat you in regular Jeopardy, didn't he? I guarantee you all know the answers to these questions. All right, all right. Okay. Come on, let's okay, get going. Okay, let's play the weakest stake. You guys right. ready? Okay, <laughs> Howard, first question to you. Who was the first woman to fly an airplane solo across the Atlantic Ocean? Amelia Earhart. Correct. Gary, in chemistry, which element from the periodic table combines with oxygen to form water? Uh, hydrogen. Correct. John, in history, who was convicted for the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy? Um... Another guy's name. You're an idiot. I know. <laughs> I know the Clark? guy's name. How much time I got? Uh, wrong, Sir Han, Sir Han. I knew you it. You idiot. I knew okay, it. Okay, Fred. In computer terms, what does the acronym DOS stand for? Digital operating system. Correct. Uh, incorrect. Disk operating system. That's all. Robin. Yes. In history, what was the name of the second man to walk on the moon? Gene Shepard. Incorrect. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> a radio guy. Shepherd. Gene Shepard. Wait, 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 come on. Okay, go on. Wrong, Robin. It was Buzz Aldrin. Okay, <laughs> Casey. Those questions. Which short-lived dance craze inspired the 1990 movie The Forbidden Dance? The Charleston. 
Uh, <laughs> Very wrong. <laughs> uh, Artie, which in sports, which slug, baseball slugger was known as the Yankee Clipper? Oh, uh, Joe DiMaggio. Oh, come on. I You're setting this up. I wouldn't know that. You're setting this up. Go ahead. Howard, okay, second set of questions. Howard, in economics, which animal represents a declining stock market? Bear. Correct. Oh, oh, Gary, on. in holidays, which U.S. federal observ- observance occurs on the last Monday in May? Uh, Memorial Day. Correct. John, in jewelry, how many carats are in pure gold? In pure gold, 24. Correct. Fred, uh, what famous New York disco was opened by Steve Rebell and Ian Schrager in 1977? Studio 54. Correct. Robin, in literature, who wrote the novels From Russia with Love and Goldfinger? Oh, Ian Fleming. Correct. KC, in music, who wrote the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner? <laughs> Scott. <laughs> wrong. Francis Scott Key. Artie, who was the first African American to be crowned Miss America? Vanessa Williams. Correct. Howard, um, in language, what two word French phrase translates to have a good journey? Au revoir. Wrong. Bon voyage. Gary, Damn. what is the two word motto for the Boy Scouts of America? <laughs> Uh, be prepared. Correct. John, what trademark line of underwear was founded in 1876 by partners Bradley, Voorhees, and Day? Uh, oh. <laughs> BBD. <laughs> ah, that was worth it. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Joe Cocker got that right. I thought he was going to run out of time. <laughs> Fred, yeah. in history, JFK's assassin Lee Harvey Oswald was in turn shot by whom? Beg your pardon? In turn shot by whom? The, the Dallas police. Uh, incorrect. Jack Ruby. Oh. Yeah. Robin. Yes. Uh, in medicine, which emergency maneuver named for a Cincinnati surgeon is used to treat choking victims? Heimlich maneuver. Correct. KC, in nature, heroin and opium are derived from the seed pods of which type of flower? Poppy. Correct. Artie, the name of what U.S. city is Spanish for City of Angels? Los Angeles. Right. Oh, oh, he man. gives them every, like, I know, he's getting me. softball. Right. Oh, I don't it's it. random. Oh, sh- Howard, in business, what table salt company features an image of a girl with an umbrella on its package? Morton's. Correct. Gary, in which month does the U.S. holiday Columbus Day occur? Columbus Day is October. Correct. Uh, John, named by its creator, what type of bed, uh, what's the t- name of the bed that folds up inside of a wall or a closet? It was named after its creator. <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> Wait, folds up in a wall? And, uh, <laughs> folds up in a wall? Yes. That's a wall, John. Mr. Fold. <laughs> Wrong. Murphy. Murphy bed. <laughs> Never heard of it. Uh, Fred, yeah. what was the code name for Woodward and Bernstein's secret Watergate source? Correct. Robin, in science, uh, physicist Edwin Land founded which instant film and camera company? Instant film and camera Kodak. Uh, wrong. Polaroid. Oh, uh, what am I thinking? KC, while visiting a Trenton, oh. New Jersey choking, school. Yeah. Wait, KC, wait, shh, start again. While visiting a Trenton, New Jersey school, former VP Dan Quayle famously misspelled what word? Potato. Correct. Artie, in computer language, what does the acronym FAQ stand for? Oh, no idea. Okay, frequently asked questions. Uh. Round is over. <laughs> All right. Okay, you know what? Wait a second. Shh. Let's hear who the weakest on. link was. Uh, hold on one second, guys. I know it wasn't me. <laughs> Could be me. I think it was KC. Okay. Um, four-way tie. Wait, four-way tie. <laughs> four-way tie for the weakest link. <laughs> who is the, who are the weakest links? Well, the Gary was the strongest. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the weakest links um, are who are they here? Should just eliminate we got all John, of them. John, Fred, Robin, Casey. No. Who is it? You got to tell me. They all had two. You know, we should have just eliminated all the weakest links because right. then we'd be done with the damn game. <laughs> I know that Robin and Casey were tied, which was a right. Shame. I know. So who are the four tied? Me. Robin, Fred, Fred, John, Robin. Wait, and Casey? Doug, tell us okay. who the weakest four are. Okay, the weakest ones um, were Artie and Howard. No. What? What? No. what? No. Oh God! No, Howard. The <laughs> weakest ones are Casey, <laughs> guys, Robin, Fred, and Doug. John, How many? Fred, Robin, and Casey are tied for the weakest. Say them so we can hear. John, Fred, Robin, and Casey are tied for the weakest. They got two right. <laughs> it's us three. <laughs> me, 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 Artie, and Gary are the only ones left. We're the strongest. No, no, we're supposed to have a challenge. We're going to do a quick face-off between uh, them, and one of them gets kicked out. Okay, you ready? Oh, boy. It's going to take 17 right. hours right. this hey, game. Look, I, I want to know who Artie is using his hand on to get those. Well, Howard, after this round, it probably please. Hold on. 
You know, wait, I've misplaced this one. Uh, Vanessa Williams? Oh, 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 oh. He missed the question. Come on! Specifically Come on! Okay, hold on one second. Come on, Vinny! <laughs> Are you cho you're choking as host? I'm choking. I can't. This thing is easy. Wait, you and you Doug are two idiots. I'll take myself out to move I this thing. I can't believe away. I did this. All right. Oh, my it. goodness. Okay, I have it. I have it. <laughs> Just go one. Okay, okay you, you ready? Okay, we're How start dare with you? With John. Okay. In science, what single celled fungi causes bread to rise and beer to ferment? Single celled fungi causes beer to rise. And um, a bread to rise and beer to ferment. Uh, yeast. You're out Too of time. Late. You're not wrong. Okay, we don't have to do the rest. You got it. Oh what do you no, mean? they might. No, you got to go through. through. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fred, Play the game. <laughs> what form of therapeutic massage gets its name from the Japanese meaning? Shiatsu. Think, correct. Robin, who was the second woman appointed to the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court? Sa oh, wait a minute. Can't think of her name. Got her face. She's from New York. <laughs> uh, wrong. Ruth Ginsburg. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Casey. In 1871, reporter Henry Stanley was sent to Africa to search for what Scottish explorer? Connery. <laughs> Connery! <laughs> can, do me a favor. Can you explain where you got that answer? I, I, I guess. I don't listening. know what it is. So now we got to go through it's more? Wrong. No, no, no. Now we have a weakest link. No, you have three weakest I links. I have the three two. weakest links to go. Oh, wait, this this is the worst conceived this game. This well thought out. Really? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Real quick. No, no. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait a second. What are you talking about? Everybody... I'm the only one that got the answer, right? Right. Fred's the only one left. That's and the three didn't get the answer. So that when the, don't they so get eliminated? No, no, because you're eliminating the last person. So now it's... Oh. Uh, they're trying so to throw you got, one per oh, round. Now you got three more weakest links. Why don't you vote someone else? Jeez. What? No, Why don't you just no, 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 no. Okay, no. real quick then, the three that are remaining. John, <laughs> in language, what French term for dead-end street literally means bottom of the bag? Dead-end street? Yes. French term. We're only in the first round? <laughs> Or I build the car faster than this. Cul-de-sac, wrong. Uh, Robin, in history, what was the number of the first manned Apollo mission to land on the moon? Jesus, here we go with these space questions. We're going to be here all day. Seven. You know, when we were thinking Seven, about this. Seven, she said. Wrong. So, uh, it's KC, ridiculous. what is the only Every U.S. state name that ends with the letter K? Arkansas. No. Uh, New York. New York. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, do we have another talk? Yes. I am so sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I, I got to take okay. a break. Okay. I, we got to. Take a break. Oh. We need to rethink Here's what I. I no. Rethink I it. I it's think whoever, think whoever's the weakest link. Now, Howard, so you know what? He's doing wrong. He should give us five, If questions. there's five weakest links, you get rid of them all. That's and let's probably, move on. That's probably okay. how you okay, should do it, Why don't we make the next round that way? That's how you'll do okay. the next okay. round. All right. We'll be here all freaking day. We'll eliminate someone. Go ahead. Okay, well, KC, you're gone for saying Arkansas. Okay, I guessed. All right, so I he's the weakest link, but Robin was weak, too. Yeah, we yeah. all got the same amount Why, wrong. That's not fair. John got it wrong. Why don't you we, should, we should go to a break and discuss this. No, just, you know what, do three more. I can't change the rules of made a game. No, you're right. Three more questions between me. Why are you soliciting? All right, give us, give, give John. I don't want to be eliminated, okay. Okay, let's but. Give, get, she's <laughs> willing to be okay, eliminated. Who's left? Who's left? Three, I know. Three we're questions. all choking. No, I'm not willing to be eliminated. John, John. You're giving me space questions. John, go ahead. In literature, what is the name of the young protagonist in The Catcher in the Rye? Um... <laughs> and it's so easy. I know. I can't think of it. Hold on. Oh, J.D. Salinger wrote it. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Who's on the clock? Let's all answer this one Holden question. Holden Coffee. Oh, I could answer oh, that. I just, I'm blanking out. It, um, Robin, in television, conjunction, junction, and Give the answer to John's question. I told him. Holden Coffee. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Robin, in television, conjunction, junction, and I am just a bill were part of which Saturday morning series of animated shorts? Oh, that was uh, conjunction, junction... Oh, I know this. See, I'm doing See, the John I quit. thing. Robin, That's like, rock and roll, uh, ABC, something. Schoolhouse Rock. Schoolhouse rock. Schoolhouse rock. I, I know everyone, I don't get. Uh. Oh. Casey, which face, uh, when facing Mount Rushmore, which president's head is farthest to your left? You've got to be Lincoln. kidding. Wrong, George Washington. <laughs> Look, we're going to be here all day. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. I'm going to take a break, ask them questions during the friggin' break, okay, we'll and come up with the weakest link, or we'll be here all effing day. You're all weak links. That's the problem. Dude, and all four should have been eliminated. 
That's not how the game is But played, it should have been. That's not what no, you made the, the we, contest. All right. We discussed it. It's all right, all right. All Let's right. take a break. Take a break. Ask we'll ask, them, ask, ask John, questions during the break. break. Yeah, take a break. John, in 1940. All right, take the break. What candy company? Wait, wait, wait. wait take we're the... taking a break. I thought we were asking questions during the break. Right. We are, yeah, but let's take, take the break. John, in 1940, what candy company introduced its peppermint patty? Okay. Uh, York. Right. Robin, which Popeye cartoon character is known for saying, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday Wimpy. for hamburger today? Correct. KC, which Truman Capote book recounts the 1959 murder of a rural Kansas family? Oh, that's an easy one. Shh. Of mice and men. <laughs> All right, so he's Wrong. the weakest one. Now, as predicted, during the commercial break, because of our ill-conceived game that went on and on and on, finally, in the runoff, KC was eliminated with what question, Vinny? Uh, he was eliminated with the um, the book. No, no, what state ends in letter K? No. No no, 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 you weren't listening. Which no. Truman Capote book recounts the 1959 murder of a rural Kansas family? Which is okay. in cold blood. Okay, now now ask the other two questions. What's the other guy? All right, all right, all right. Casey, we don't have answers. time, but you're out of the match. All right, all I want to say is I'm not the weakest link. Vinny's the weakest no, link. No, you are the weakest dink. No. And by the way, in the final, in the next couple of rounds, if there are multiple weakest people, they, they all, all leave at once. Hey, Casey, there's a good reason you have a stupid look on your face. You are stupid. Oh. oh. oh Vinny, that's, hey, uh, hey, I Vin, like to. Vin, no right. I know who the fattest link is, and it's you. Ah, that's funny. Ah. Hey, Vinny, Casey. How, how, many did, how many did Casey get right in the whole, how, what did he get, two out of 12? Yeah, actually, Casey did, you know, the people who should be embarrassed are Robin and John. No, I'm that not they embarrassed. Casey you're, in their your first questions so are horrible. And all your the questions, the questions are horrible. of the game. and Howard are beating me we, and Fred is crazy. Big sham. Vin, see, Vinny needed somebody to go right away, so he chose me. He asked John, who makes peppermint patties? Everybody knows who does that. And he asked who, uh, what cartoon Wimpy was from. Everybody knows that too. And then he asked me some obscure question from like some literature from 1950, which nobody knows. Do you think Vinny's got a hidden agenda? Yeah, he did. He wanted to end the game. That's what happened. Hi, how do you feel? I, well, I knew he was going to lose, so it's no surprise. He's my retard, you know? What, what am I going to do? Uh, you got a personal message for Casey? Uh, yeah. Uh, stay out of the sun tanning booths and go to the library more often. All right. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Okay, let's get ready to play round two of The Weakest Stink. <laughs> now okay. start off with the strongest. We're going to yeah. start with Howard again. You ready? <laughs> All right, that Howard. was, by the way, the longest first round in the history, but Casey has been eliminated. All right, here we go. Shows. Howard, according to the U.S. Constitution, no one may be elected president more than how many times? Twice. Correct. Gary, in movies, which character in The Wizard of Oz wants a brain? I only had a brain would be the Scarecrow. Correct. Uh, John. Which American revolutionary figure became synonymous with the word traitor by forming an alliance with Britain? Benedict Arnold. Correct. Robin, in religion, which... Fred. That's Fred, oh, oh, Fred yes. Sorry. <laughs> in, in religion, which holy city do devout M Muslims turn toward in prayer five times a day? Mecca. Correct. Robin, <laughs> what character beckoned I want you on World War II Army recruiting posters? Uncle Sam. Correct. Artie, in astronomy, which British scientist was the first to calculate the orbit of a comet? <laughs> Galileo. Ooh. Artie, you are the weakest thing. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> wrong, wrong. Right. All right, so now, Artie, you are eliminated. Oh, just one, just one, 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 one time around, and then it. if we keep... Oh, no, so, oh, no right. how many times around are we going? Twice? Yeah, four? I guess uh, four times, yeah. Yeah, he said I'm four sorry. questions. Oh, oh my God, oh, four times. I get the astronomy right. Oh, my I'm God, sorry. we're going to be here okay, all month. <laughs> all right, go ahead. This is the Howard. rest of the show. Go ahead. Howard, get used to it. Howard, in the opening credits of The Brady Bunch, which character appears in the center square? Oh. Mr. Brady. Wrong, Alice. Gary, Ooh. what novel by a giant John Steinbeck... Uh, what novel by John Steinbeck follows the Joad family during the Great Depression? The Grapes of Wrath? Correct. John, what does the letter C stand for in the birthing method known as a C-section? A cesarean. Correct. Fred, in mythology, what Roman god of love was the son of Venus? Mercury. Wrong. Cupid. 
Robin, which actor sent a woman called Sasheen Littlefeather to refuse his 1973 Academy Award? Marlon Brando. Correct. Artie, what four-word motto was added to U.S. coins in 1864? In God we trust. Correct. <laughs> Howard, in science, what is the chemical symbol for water? H2O. Correct. Please. Gary, wow. in medicine, what family-founded hospital in Rochester, Minnesota, treats more than 200,000 patients every year? The Mayo Clinic. Correct. John, what is the last word of the Pledge of Allegiance? The last word is all. Correct. Fred, in history, who was the only U.S. president to be sworn into an office on an airplane? LBJ. Correct. Robin, the Heisman Trophy is awarded annually to the best player in which collegiate sport? Football. Correct. Artie, introduced in 1981, which stainless steel sports car shares its name with the man who created it? Lamborghini. Wrong, DeLorean. Howard, in computer terminology, which is larger, a gigabyte or a megabyte? Gigabyte. Correct. Gary, what General Mills cereal contains stars and clovers and claims to be magically delicious? Lucky Charms. Correct. John, the leaf featured on the current Canadian flag is from which type of tree? Maple. Correct. Fred, what 1970s song by Van McCoy started a dance step the by the same name? Correct. Robin, what train that ran from Paris to Istanbul was the subject of an Agatha Christie mystery? The Orient Express. Correct. Okay, final question for Artie. In U.S. currency, how many nickels make up one dollar? Twenty. Correct. Okay, you got the totals? Hey, Artie, I think you're the weakest yeah, link. Yeah, yeah, You saved so, my yeah. ass. <laughs> oh, you don't get any more Joe DiMaggio questions, Vinny? <laughs> yeah, more baseball. Okay, Artie. could you say which guy was busted for coke? <laughs> <laughs> the strongest were Gary, John, and Robin, and the weakest link is Artie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. I've redeemed oh. myself. <laughs> hold on. Me, Robin, and Gary were stronger than Fred. Ooh. <laughs> oh, take it easy. <laughs> hey, Artie. Should I? Yeah, go ahead. You're what? as astute as a fat comedian on a date with a hooker in a Las Vegas. All right, skip the put down. <laughs> All right, so what happened in there, Artie? There's a bunch of crap. The first round, I get three out of four. It's me, Howard, and Gary left. And, uh, you know, that should have been the three finalists. Me, Howard, and Gary. We would have been quick to the point. We would have handled it. Now we got to keep going, and I got to get asked computer questions. And, uh, you know, who discovered Haley's Comet? Like, that's easy. Round three of the weakest thing. Oh, I hate this. Howard, you're first. <laughs> in U.S. measurements, how many inches are in a linear yard? 36. Correct. Gary, in mythology, how many eyes did Cyclops have? One. Correct. Uh, John, a millennial anniversary marks the passing of how many years? 2,000. Wrong, 1,000. Fred, oh, in science, the just... process of heating milk to remove harmful bacteria was named for which Louis French? Louis Pasteur, you don't. The wrong... Wait. Hey, you know, he's <laughs> not letting me He finish. gave the wrong answer. Let's go. You're wrong. Right. You have to let me. You, you said Fine, it so wrong. go ahead. Okay, fine. You want to take me out? Take me out, you big idiot. fat bastard. Idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. Robin. Man, you're a fatso. Yeah, well, Could you're they stupid. stop fighting before I hear Come my question? Robin. So Robin, yeah. which children boards game features the gumdrop pass and lollipop woods? Candyland. Correct. Um, Howard, in medicine, hepatitis is a disease of what human organ? Liver. Correct. Gary, in US horsing in a US horse race, the term place describes a horse finishing in which of the top three spots? Second. Correct. Uh, John, uh, turn on, tune in, drop out is a book written by which LSD guru? Um, the fuck the guy name? That was name. Uh, Abby Abby Hoffman. Wrong. Timothy Leary. <sighs> Fred, wait till I finish the question. Okay. In language, the term smog is a combination of what two words? Smoke and fog. Correct. Robin, Latin for to entrust. What legal term means to seclude a jury from outside contact? Sequester? Correct. Right. Howard, on November 19th, 1863, what speech dedicating a national cemetery was delivered by President Lincoln? Clock is ticking. No coaching. <laughs> Gettysburg Address. Sorry. Couldn't think of it. <laughs> I told you I Nails suck at this. Yeah. Hey, we've yeah. all had those you moments. Fat, yeah, cheating. Uh, <laughs> I knew sequester. <laughs> Gary, what 1976 film popularized the line, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore? Network. Correct. John, according to the U.S. flag code, what is the preferable method for disposing of a worn out American flag? Burying it. Wrong. Burning. Fred, 
In food, what term for ordering separately priced items is French for by the menu? A la carte. Correct. Robin, during Prohibition, which Justice Department agent led the unit known as the Untouchables? Oh, that was Elliot Ness. Correct. Howard, am uh. I... Go ahead. Howard, is, is that it? Is that no, the, this is the last set. Okay. You don't no, need no, it. No, no, I, I'm already oh. the weakest link, man. John's out. Yeah. John's out. Okay. Damn, John? I'm what? just trying to shorten the game up. Okay, John, he, he's no way statistically you know, he can win. You know what's win. funny? John just keeps complaining about the quality of the questions that he gets. <laughs> I knew your questions. No, no, no. I knew. I screwed up on I Millennium. Timothy I Timothy Leary. I, just, yeah. I, I, was, I thought Millennium was So John is the weakest link? John is the weakest dink. Oh, dink. you. Hey, John. Robin Griffiths has a 50-inch bust and you have an IQ that matches. Hey. <laughs> and then he's dressed in purple, line, line, quiet over here. which goes with his plum shape. John, what happened? I choked. I, uh, <laughs> you know, it's so easy to answer everybody else's questions until they ask you, and then I just went blank, like Sirhan Sirhan. I mean, God, it just kept going through my head, and I just blanked out. What happened? Uh, he did all right. You know, he just didn't answer all the questions right. Are you disappointed? Not at all. Not at all. It was uh, it was great to be in the studio. You know, I've been a, I've been a fan for 13 years. It was just nice to be in the studio and to see everybody working. Did you expect John to go three rounds? Um, yeah, I actually have faith. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So do you have any any last words for John? Um, thanks anyway, bro. All right. Thanks for coming down. All right. Thanks. All right, now let me just uh, recap here. We're playing Who for. Who was the strongest link? Hey, Robin Gary was the strongest. Yet? John was the weakest. Gary was the strongest. Like, I haven't missed a question yet. I didn't miss a question that round. All right, listen to me. Right. We're playing for a 2002 <laughs> Durango. I hate this game. I couldn't think of Gettysburg Address, <laughs> oh, but I'm somehow still in it. It's and Howard, Gary, really Fred, strong. and Robin. Okay. And uh, as it should be, there's someone in the green room who uh, could win this Durango. There you go. Depending on who wins here. Okay, you ready, guys? All right, here we yeah. go. Round four of the weakest thing. Howard in medicine. Barney Clark was the recipient of the first permanent artificial version of what organ? Heart. Correct. Gary, hay fever is caused by an algae to what powder-like spores produced by plants? Pollen. Correct. Fred, on April 8th, 1974, what baseball player broke Babe Ruth's career home run record? Hank Aaron. Correct. Robin, in math, what is 199 plus 199? Don't know. Oh, oh that's your answer. Uh, wrong. 398. Howard, Dr. Jonas Salk developed the vaccine for what disease known as infantile paralysis? Polio. Correct. Gary, what does the B in the U.S. military aircraft B-52 stand for? Bomber. Correct. Fred, if you were playing Baccarat in Las Vegas Casino, what would you be playing with, cards or dice? Cards. Correct. Robin, which U.S. muffler company shares its name with the mythical king that had the golden touch? Midas. Correct. Howard, in law, what do the letters in the traffic offense DUI stand for? Driving under the influence. Correct. Gary, what was the first widely used brand of disposable diaper introduced by Procter & Gamble? Pampers. Correct. Fred, which is the only Ivy League university located in New Jersey? Princeton. Correct. Robin, in geography, the Americas were named after which Italian explorer? Uh, Amerigo. Vespucci Amerigo. We'll, we'll give you Amerigo. You got it right. Howard, in baseball, what does the acronym ERA stand for? Earned run to average. Correct. Nice. Gary, what Gene Hackman movie is about a cruise ship turned upside down by a tidal wave? Um, Poseidon Adventure. Correct. Fred, in music, Walter Becker and Donald Fagan are better known Steely by one Dan. Correct. Robin, which U.S. holiday is named for the patron saint of lovers? St. Valentine. Correct. Okay, that's the round. What do you got? No, just keep going, I think. Oh, that's it. No, that's a round. No, no that's I'm the, round. the weakest link. Robin, Robin, yeah, Robin, I missed that one question because I thought he said, I thought it was a multiplication yeah. problem. <laughs> Robin is eliminated. Oh. And, Sorry. Oh, wait. Vinny has wait. to insult you before no, you leave. Robin, let oh, me guess. Up, Fifth grade was your senior year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you disappointed in the outcome? <laughs> How could I not be? I lost. But at least you'd be Casey and John and Artie. That's not saying much. <laughs> I should have beaten Howard. <laughs> Are you a little disappointed? Sure. <laughs> you seem a little but, speechless over. Well, what fun to be here. And hopefully I'll get an autograph before I split. Okay. Are you, you happy that Robin at least went about four rounds? Oh, big time. She's a champion. All I'm right, a so fan regardless. Do you have any little last words for Robin? Um, thanks for giving it a go. Well... Robin. Lo and behold, I'm up against Gary and Fred, which uh, seems impossible to me. No, you're doing good. 
I'm doing good. I'm you barely are. hanging I, in I, by a thread. I would, I would never in a million years know that you would have known Earn Run Average. Yeah, that was, that was really? amazing. I was more well, impressed with the Morton Salt question. Yeah, I was question. hoping that would save me. All right, I'm hanging in by a thread. Uh, there are three people left in the green room who are now hoping to win a 2002 Dodge Durango from Yonkers Avenue Dodge, which is a great place to buy a Dodge. Are you sure, sure they're still there? Uh, they're there it's waiting. They, they want this prize. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Another gut-wrenching round <laughs> that oh, I hate. Oh, of the weekend. Stink. Let's go. Howard, in what movie did Faye Dunaway play Joan Crawford? Mommy Dearest. Correct. Gary, in television, what was the name of the Cartwright's Ranch on west on the Western Bonanza? The Ponderosa. Correct. Fred, the affliction known as gingivitis is characterized by an inflammation of what part of the mouth? The gums. Correct. Um, Howard, in the Old Testament, God gave the Ten Commandments to which prophet? Moses. Correct. Gary, how many ounces are there in the U.S. measure of one pint? Sixteen. Correct. Uh, Fred, what is the name of the salesman in Arthur Miller's play De- Death of a Salesman? Willie Loman. Correct. Howard, which Italian dictator was known as El Duce? Mussolini. Correct. Gary, what, which Welsh actor did Elizabeth Taylor marry and divorce twice? Richard Burton. Fred, which sportsman referred to himself as the luckiest man on the face of the earth upon his retirement? Lou Gehrig. Howard, in which DC, in, in which Washington D.C. theater was a, uh, President Abe Lincoln shot in 1865? <laughs> Ford's Theater. Ford's Theater. Oh. I can think it's John Wilkes Booth. I, you see, I'm out now. You <laughs> you see, I, 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 don't know. I just don't know. You don't know. I could not think of that. You don't know. Gary, during which president's <laughs> administration were both Robert Kennedy and Martin Luther King assassinated? That was during Lyndon Johnson's. Correct. Fred, what is the name of the residence of the mayor of New York City? Gracie Mansion. Correct. All right, I'm out. Okay, Howard. God damn. Oh, well, you lasted oh, longer man. than me. Yeah, but I should know that. Fourth Theater. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> yeah, Casey, don't act like you knew that. I was, I was 199. Laughing. I'm laughing because you, you got it wrong and you called them all bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to win. I just wanted to. But I, I knew I couldn't. Good. Good. In you fact, I good. thought I'd be the first one eliminated, so I'm happy yeah. with my standing, and I apologize I to the guy I'm playing for. Go ahead and tell me. Uh, Wendy the retard you. is more clever than you are. <laughs> that wasn't that funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's because Fred wrote it. Are you disappointed? Oh, no, I'm not. Had a lot of fun here. I mean, he uh, tried his best, you know, and it's just, uh, you know, an honor coming up here and meeting everyone. So, do you have so, any words for Howard? No, you know, he tried his best. I, you know, I, I thank you for, uh, you know, trying to uh, win the Durango for me, but, you know, I came with nothing. I'm leaving with nothing. I'm happy, so. Are you are you surprised that Howard went as far as he did? Uh, no, I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's a very intelligent guy, so, you know, I, uh, I wasn't surprised at all. I thought he would have, uh, you know, I think he could have won it all, so. All right. You know? Good luck. And Thank you. Thanks for coming it was down. Great. It was great coming up here. Anyone want to bet? Yes. I right. bet. I bet on Fred. I don't know. But Gary's man. playing it, tough. And yeah, he's playing tough, and it all depends on how. Uh, yeah, the que- you know, that's the question. the lucky charm question. Yeah, come Gary. on, you softballed oh, him. Did you guys remember? Did you guys remember the Ford Theater? I did. Yeah, you did. Ford, it's, but did. how many yep. of you could have pulled out Amerigo Vespucci? I, well, I, I, knew actually, I did. Vespucci. I, knew I knew it. And it's Amerigo Vespucci. And you said it wrong. It's America yeah. Vespucci. Yeah, you said it wrong. You so should have got it. I got it right. I felt bad for you, Robin. I don't think that Gary has missed one question yet. Gary hasn't been missed one question yet. He's been asked about lucky charms. Come on, I can't think of lucky charms. Robin, you were asked. Terry, you're on the air. <laughs> hey, Robin, this finally shows the world how stupid you really are. Thank you. I'm uh, not as stupid as you, but I am stupid. Please, every day you get the news wrong. Every day. Every day every you day listen you to me. Listen, every day you, you listen to me. Without, every day, day than... All right, you okay. wind oh up God. listening I to me, see, you ass. I can see <laughs> that this is causing a lot Animosity. of problems. <laughs> Gary and Fred are left. Does anyone want to bet? I say Fred's going to win. Gary's take, been yeah. playing tough. He's been doing really well. What, how much action you want? I'll take. I'll put. I'll put a hundred dollars on Gary. Huh? Really? Really? I'm, I'm taking Fred I mean, for a hundred. I mean, I think they're both got equal. I mean, Fred's great, but why not? For a little action. Except I don't have a hundred yeah. on me. You're gonna have to wait till tomorrow for this. Artie, tell me. Tell me the things you won't bet on. Uh, you know. <laughs> you want to go a hundred with me? Uh, I got a. I got a hundred on Fred. Okay, yeah, just to make it interesting. I mean, I got nothing against either one of them. Marty's very funny because he was playing the game with a cigarette in his mouth. I think better. (laughs) Astronomy and computers, come on. Yeah. (laughs) Frequently asked question you should have known. I never had a computer before. (laughs) Would you have known Yankee Clipper? Yes. 
Yes. No. You would have known that, right? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> it all depends on ERA the was impressive. That was cool. I yeah. was hanging in by the, by a thread. That was good. Mm-hmm. DUI was hard. That's no. 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 That was a, a no-brainer. I got, I got a bunch of dittos that say that. <laughs> And I should have known Ford Theater. Right. It's All tough. right. Okay. Gary and Fred. Any more bets? Amazing you what you blank out on. Yes, you do. So the final round. We'll start with uh, Gary. How many questions in this round? Uh, four. Each, four okay. uh, there's eight questions. Right. Each are going to end up. I bet four. Vinny screws it up. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll bet, bet you 100 on that. I agree with you. <laughs> okay. Anybody want to go against us? No. All right. All right. Let's be okay. quiet and let's it ha- let it okay. happen. Okay. You ready, Gary? Here we go. How many quarts are there in the U.S. measure of one gallon? Quarts of four. Correct. Fred, in U.S. politics, the elephant is a symbol of which political party? That would be the Republicans. Correct. Gary, in The Wizard of Oz, what did the lion want to ask the wizard for? Courage. Correct. Fred, in industry, which country produces more of the world's wine, France or the U.S.? France. Correct. Gary, which inventor was known as the Wizard of Menlo Park? Thomas Edison. Correct. Fred, which American teacher was chosen to be the first private citizen in space? Sally Ride. Wrong. Krista McAuliffe. Gary, in mythology, who was the Greek god of the sea? The Greek god of the sea. Um, I have no answer. Uh, I know that one. Go. What do you can, think? I, can I do it? Yeah. Neptune. No. Poseidon. Jupiter? Poseidon. Oh, wow. Stay right oh, well, you're as useless as a horn on an airplane. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right. Okay. Um, uh, so you got that wrong, Gary. Fred, in fashion, the material cashmere is derived from the wool of which animal? Sheep. Wrong. Goat. <sighs> Damn. We have a weakest link. That would be Fred. Yeah. Gary? That's right. there. Damn it, I lost is 100. That right? And I get nothing. <laughs> I get nothing. But Gary was playing for uh, Mike. Why don't we bring Mike in here who just won himself a 2002 Dodge Durango. Well, congratulations, Gary. Thank you. (laughs) Wow, Gary, you are the strongest link. (laughs) And fear was not a factor for you. At least in that game. (laughs) At least in that game. The true survivor. I was very close. I suffered everything that you said that you'd suffer from. Just a blank out. Oh, look at that. (laughs) Uh, There's our man. Oh, thank uh, you. There you go. How you doing, Mike? I'm all right. You got to be excited. uh, I'm I'm ecstatic, man. This is unbelievable. You've won a 2002 Dodge Durango because Gary... Gary was playing for you. Wow. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you are aligned with a great guy now to present you with your car. It's uh, Kathy Finn. She's a great guy. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking to Mike is a great guy. Oh. Kathy, you're a great guy, too. <laughs> Kathy Finn from um, Yonkers Avenue Dodge. Go ahead. Hi. I just want to say congratulations. Yonkers Avenue Dodge is so happy to give you this Dodge Durango. Wow. Thank you very much, Kathy. And by thank the, you, Howard. Uh, thank you. And by the way, Kathy, you're very attractive. What is your association you with uh, Yonkers Avenue Dodge? I'm the business development manager at the dealership. No kidding. So I have a bunch of young ladies who are much younger and prettier than me who Really? Dealership with me. Are there hot chicks at Yonkers Avenue Dodge? Oh really? My God, there are. I have um, eight young ladies that work with me, and they're there to make sure that everyone's happy. How are you uh, married? Is that code for anything? Am I no? No. No. Well, okay. let me tell you something, Mike. That uh, that mullet of yours is going to go great. In the <laughs> Yeah, he could drive down and get a trim on it. You got the mullet hair, though. Yeah. yeah, is that what it is? Uh, you know how good you're going to look in that Dodge Durango uh, with that mullet blowing in the wind? <laughs> you know, it works for me, Howard. I don't know. You look good, believe me. You look Thank a lot you, better Howard. than Thank me. Thank you. I love you, man. I got to nice say, stand. you know, I don't he know. didn't think Gary. Oh, yeah. He did. He did. He did. They were making out in the corner. I love Gary, man. I love You'll this You'll see it guy. on the E show, yeah. I got to say, I don't know if this guy needs it the most because I saw him coming in this morning and he was with somebody. I said, who's that? He goes, that's my limo driver. I'm with I'm with Pete the limo driver. That's right. He took me here. Oh. Oh, yeah, but that ain't your limo. That's right? my that cousin. That's your life. Listen, ah, right. cousin Pete, yeah. It's cuisine. <laughs> it's cuisine. It's so, cuisine. Oh, wait a second. Never mind you guys. So you're a married woman? No, I'm not. You're single. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm a single New York City girl. How old are you? Really? Um, well, how old do I look? Yeah, you're not supposed 20, to ask a 25. woman. 25. Okay, I'll take that. But how old are you? <laughs> um, a little bit older than that. Are you are you under 33? Oh, Gary. No. Look, I'll tell you. Wow, she looks great. I'd like That's to take fantastic. you on a test drive. Thank you. Can we spin the wheel? <laughs> well, anyone come on up to Yonkers Avenue Dodge, I and I'll can I sit, take you on a test can drive. Can I sit in the backseat of the movie theater with you? You can definitely sit in the backseat of the movie theater, for great. sure. Did you ever date a weakest dink? <laughs> 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 Michael in that room. 
come and see. Uh, you ever date a guy who didn't know what a frequently asked question was? Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, uh, this was a great contest, and thanks for providing the great prize, the Dodge Durango. And, well, we're uh, very excited to provide it, and we'd love to do it again sometime. All right, Gary, congratulations. Thank you. You, uh, you performed I, I, well. You know what? He got a Durango, already got a hundred bucks. I got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing for money, but you still have your big teeth. <laughs> And gigantic lips. A little bit of respect from the group, maybe? Absolutely. Hey, yeah. 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 Take a lunch with the hundred. Okay, great. You well, got how about it, Gary? Come back up to the dealership. Okay, I'll be there. We'll you give know. you that as the prize. Let's see. Mario wants to say something. What do you think, Mario? I can't believe Gary's the strongest link. I always thought he was the missing link. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Gary won fair and square. There I told you. Go. you. He beat us all. I told you he was going to come down to either Fred or I Gary and or I Robin. Props. I give him his props. All right. You outlasted me, Mr. I'll Never Get a Question. You did good. I know. I was shocked. You answered some tough questions. Did Did I? Like what? Yeah. I didn't think any of them were tough. Joe, go ahead. You're on the air. Joe. Um, Still Laura. Oh, oh, Laura, sorry you lost. Oh, Oh, sorry. Hey, Artie, thanks. I know you really tried. (laughs) Joe, go ahead. You're on the air. All right. Howard. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I get the last half hour of my life back. (laughs) <laughs> what was it? Was the contest bad? Yeah, it was horrible to listen to. I mean, between uh, Vinny being terrible as the announcer, uh, it was just awful. I'm not just a stuck with it. It's bad as this phone call. Well, you know, you always take that uh, chance. I thought it was compelling to see who would win, but uh, yeah, if it didn't take so long to get rid of the first round, maybe it would have been a little better. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. Yeah, well, you were all stupid. Who knew? You know, <laughs> well, <laughs> we I mean, didn't you think were. You, you were so a horrible. Howard, you asked the hard question. I went over the game. I can't believe Casey tied with with three people in that. Yeah, because you gave crap. Howard. That would have been great. He would have eliminated right. four the people. The real fight would have been hey, Howard, me, Gary, and Howard. That should have been the real three finals. A true floor <laughs> in the contest is, you know, Vinny asked a, a question to Fred that says H2O, and then he asks Gary a little later, yeah, what's the, uh, you no, know, no, no, the no, no, Wait, how about yeah, that that the same yeah, question? You're, you're wrong. Let the guy in the no. phone talk, yeah? How about if uh, Robin would have just added 200 plus 200 and then subtracted two? I know. You know, I thought it was a multiple occasion question. She has a block with math. She's not dumb. She's got a block with math. She's got some sort of... Uh, right, like a dyslexic thing going with that. Robin, man. The only but smart you know, thing it's that... just like when Fred blew the Jack Ruby question. I know yeah. he knows the answer Absolutely. to that, but he thought of the question differently. I thought he was asking me to multiply those two numbers, and I t- totally blocked it out. Because you're stupid. Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much. Finny, you were Robin, asking the only smart the thing questions. that would ever come out of your mouth is Einstein's penis. You were asking <laughs> the questions. You were asking the questions, and not well, let me add. Oh, yeah. Not well. <laughs> What, what, what happened? Had a bad, 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 bad day. Okay, are you disappointed? In Very way? much so. Very much so. I would like that gal to win the uh, truck, but hey, people for, people seem to be forgetting one thing. When we had a uh, Jeopardy qu- uh, contest one time, Rock and Roll Jeopardy, of which Gary won on, uh, was it VH1 or something like that? I kicked his ass. So, on any given day, anybody can lose. Are you disappointed in the outcome? I just came for the fun of it. I, I had no... Okay, there you go. Hopes of winning, just for the fun, and seeing Howard. Are you, are you glad that Fred went as far as he did? Yeah, I'm very proud of him. I mean, were you nervous at the end? Tell me how you were feeling. Oh, God. It was really, uh, it, it was a toss-up. It was really a toss-up at the end. All right, so do you have any last-minute uh, words for Fred? Well, thank you for trying so hard. I really appreciate you trying so hard for me. Okay, so are you leaving disappointed? No, I had fun. All right, thanks for coming down. You're welcome. Bye. Gary, you won week, uh, week is dink. Were you surprised? I thought that I would do well. I wasn't sure that I was going to win. I thought I had a good chance. But, you know, it's nerve-wracking in there because uh, there were a lot of questions that other people got I didn't know the answer to. I just happened to know the answer to all of my questions. So, Gary, do you have any words to say to Mike, the guy you won? Congratulations. I drive a Dodge Durango, too. I love it. You'll love it. And uh, like I said in there, I got nothing. <laughs> I walk away with nothing. I already got 100 bucks. That guy's got a Durango. And I get to walk away with my pride. Ooh. <laughs> you called it earlier. I called it earlier. I had faith in Gary. Gary was a smart guy. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I just knew it. Everybody I know knew it, man. I won. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so every time a caller calls in now, goof it on Gary. You're going to... I'm always behind Gary. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.